Brew Troopers. We are on the road heading to Southwest Michigan to check out some hot spots for some cold brews. We're ready to drink up some pure Michigan. First up, we have Watermark Brewing Company in Stevensville, Michigan. Look for the look-alike Jurassic Park mobile and you'll know you found your way. The Solarium, directly next to Watermark Brewing Company, acts as an event space for live music, parties, and weddings. They also have a large parking lot right across from it. The brewery has a big line of merch to choose from and killer graphics with their vintage diver logo. Watermark is a large space that has open garage doors, games, unique vending machines with lots of tchotchkes, and don't forget those to-go beers. Their patio is beautifully landscaped, dog-friendly, and has plenty of fire pits for when the weather gets cool. Perfect spot to hang out and crush some beers. I started off my day with a mango habanero bodega. So it's a part of their bodega series. So there's lots of different variations. And ironically, today is bodega day. So cheers, y'all. That's like mango juice with a little light burn that goes down easy. That is so good. So today I'm drinking the Astro Lager. They call this one an India Pale Lager. I don't know what that is. I've never had that, so this will be fun. Let's see, that's righteous. I definitely get a nice fruitiness up front. There's a little bit of sweetness up top of the palate. It's very refreshing up top, but it has this nice, lovely, almost finishes like a pale ale. It has that bitterness that you could expect with that type of a beer. It almost feels like more like a, an American pale ale to me, but I love it. I love it, it's absolutely delicious. Also located in Stevensville is our second stop, a three minute drive from Watermark Brewing Company called Pete Cider Social. This place features Michigan made hard cider with vintage bowling and an arcade. The 1960s bowling alley and tap room were renovated to hit you with all the nostalgic feels and take you back in time. Pete's is a welcoming and inclusive space and is also family friendly. So make sure to bring your next group to check it out. Peak pricing is $30 Fridays after 5 p.m., all day Saturday, and holidays. Base pricing is $25 all other times. Happy hour pricing is $20 all day Mondays and Wednesdays. Pricing is per hour, and the shoes are complimentary. Original Cider is family owned and operated out of their farm in Paw Paw, Michigan. I had the Matchmaker, which is a sweet cider with Montmorency cherry. It was delicious. I had the Cooper Bourbon version. There's also a rye version, but I had the bourbon one. This one is a dry cider aged in journeyman buggy whip wheat barrels with an ABV of 9.5%. Our 20 minute commute was to our final stop, Ghost Isle Brewery in New Buffalo, Michigan. Ghost Isle offers a full kitchen, brewery, and bar. The name Ghost Isle is based off an actual ghost island that sits out in the wetlands to the left and west of the brewery. It is thought to have spooky activity attached. The tap room is open and spacious, including a great big patio to offer lots of seating options. 
please know that this place is definitely a spot lots of folks stop into, so there might be a slight wait for a table. I had the new Buffalo Pilsner, which is light and refreshing. And I had the Stoner's Paradise, which was dank and juicy. The menu offers options including appetizer sandwiches, salads, all great to pair with one of their terrific beers. Of course, we had to order food, so Jules got the Philly cheesesteak for $18, and I had the Huey Louie Fried Chicken Sando for 17 buckarooskies. Tubers, it's all the time we have. Be sure to be responsible. Tip your tenders. Drink locally. Cheers, Pure Michigan. We love ya.